Okay, uh, given that I've spewed so much on sort of different topics and things, uh, there might be still be a few list people listening to me. Um, and uh, to you, I want to say something about the notion of religion, because as far as I'm concerned, I belong to no religion. But I consider all religions as belonging to me. Now, I believe that should be true of every individual on the planet, in my humble, never humble opinion. Uh, but some of you might understand what I mean by that, but let me explain anyway, right? We've had um, so many religions that have been and gone. <laughs> They've disappeared because there's nobody, no adherence left to that religion. Now, what is the, do, can, you, can one say that, oh, I belong to that religion, now I'm a new, you know, uh, belonger to that religion? No, the, the religion can't exist without at least somebody, uh, you know, buying into its, uh, its tenets. Uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, it's not that I belong to a religion. Uh, that, you see, we've lost our center. This, this is where the big problem lies. Uh, we've lost our center, and we think that the religion is our center. No, but these are disparate centers. They're all over the place. And I'm going to give you an example of the corruption that's occurred in every single religion when they, because of the loss of center they've had. At the same time, there's such beauty in the religions, in the philosophy of the religions, so I am both a student of religion, as I've said to many, many people that I've met, and I have chosen to take little bits of each religion to myself to try to live my life. There's a little bit from Christianity, there's some from Islam, there's some from Judaism, Hinduism, of course, but I don't like that idea of Hinduism being called a religion. <laughs> Hinduism was the way of life we developed long, long ago. And then all of a sudden, later on, people said, oh, we've got to have religions. And said, oh, Hinduism, that must be a religion. There's these people in India. And started giving us the, you know, all the categorizations around religion. Like, oh, okay, what are your gods? And you know, all those things. And so you know, the people of India, said, all right, you're here. Here's what we had. And a few people were joined up with the British and... Uh, did their um, collaborative thing, if you will. But at the end of the day, uh, let's face the fact, religion has been corrupted enormously. Let's take a look at the Catholic religion as an example, okay? It's one of the more recent uh, uh, religions. I, I have great respect for Catholicism in its philosophy, in its tenets, in what it's trying to do. But what has Catholicism uh, done by way of its, the child abuse that's gone on? Everybody knows there's child abuse in the Catholic Church. And the Catholic Church pretends that, oh yeah, the, the, the baby, we'll, we'll send this person away to another place, we'll send that person away. Who is the center? Are you the center, the Catholic Church? Seriously? Have you lost your own center? Don't you tell your adherents that God, God is always watching you? Well, is God not watching you then? Catholic Church? Pope? Cardinals? Bishops, priests who go out and harm little children. Oh, I, I, I will acknowledge that these very same people who have harmed little children, abused little children, have also done very good things. They were trained for that. It's just that the church itself in its whole structural nonsense, its whole corrupt beginning, came to the conclusion that, oh, you know what? These people actually believe in God, so we can actually buy, get their money, and we will tell them that their sins are all taken care of then. That was not what the Catholic Church was meant for, folks. Not at all. It started much later, much after Christ, much after the Gospel. The thing here is that all that abuse that's gone on, what do we have to do? The world is watching, folks. Why have we have to admit to the fact that that corruption, that deep, deep, deep corruption exists? Now, take the corruption that we have in the Hindu pantheon, or in the Hindu religion, let's say, religion. <laughs> Seriously, we have this... Where is the Hindu religion centered right now? <laughs> in Narendra Modi! <laughs> Can you believe it? That man... I would... I hesitate to call him a gentleman. Has decided to name or allowed to have named a stadium like the Narendra Modi Stadium where they're playing test cricket right now after himself? I mean, seriously? 
could we in Canada right now decide that, oh, Justin Trudeau's a great guy. I have some issues with that one, but Justin Trudeau's a great guy. Let's name a sturdy stadium after, well, after him while he's alive, while he's prime minister. Wouldn't that be a little odd? And this is why I'm not going to visit India until the name of that stadium is changed. I don't think Narendra Modi is God. He's a fraud. All of you are frauds. So don't abuse religion. Don't abuse the notion of God with the abuse you do of religion. Take it to yourself and think that you can run the whole thing? Seriously? Saudi Arabia? Seriously? Well, I don't want to end on an angry note, but I, I do feel myself quite angered by this notion. But I am very proud to say that I know God. I don't have to believe in God. And that I belong to no religion, but that every religion belongs in a little bit, in part, to me.